So the leaders of the Barcelona World Race across the equator into the Southern Ocean, led by Hugo Boss, early this morning. That's the doldrums effect you're seeing just before the equator, a relatively easy doldrums passage. I do see the sails shimmering just a little bit. The course, course is altering as they get under clouds and the wind disappears. Just trying to stay with it. You see that with Renault there and Hugo Boss. Further back in the fleet then, uh, one planet, one ocean and we are water, very close together, sailing the same course, about 30 miles apart this morning. And Conrad Coleman and uh, Nandor Fa on Spirit of Hungary, approaching the Cape Verde Islands, still in the trade winds. But light winds uh, for the passage across the equator, not uh, really too bad, about 8-10 uh, knots of boat speed at times. Hugo Boss just nudging across at uh, around about 1 o'clock, uh, 1.50 this morning I think it was, Neutrogena not far behind and Chemini Pujola, Neutrogena and Chemini Pujola further to the west. Guys a little bit behind in that uh, position for uh, Renault Capture out in the east, still giving them some problems, they were very slow. Leader across the uh, equator and the 8th uh, place boat just approaching the Cape Verde Islands. So looking at the rankings this Monday morning, 9 o'clock, Hugo Boss uh, in the lead. They're ranked 41 miles uh, ahead of uh, Renault Captur, but Renault Captur, of course, second by virtue of their much more easterly position across the equator uh, this early morning. Neutrogena were uh, just an hour and 10 minutes behind uh, Hugo Boss and um, Chemini Pujala not far behind them. On the water, it's about 21 miles between Neutrogena and Chemini Pujla, north-south, and Gaius, and about 100 miles north-south between uh, Hugo Boss uh, and Gaius Centros Auditivos. Otherwise, in the rankings, it's uh, worth watching uh, how close One Planet, One Ocean are, and uh, We Are Water, only 17 miles uh, apart, and uh, We Are Water, Bruno and Willie Garcia, are making 15.2 knots compared with 10.9 knots for uh, One Planet, One Ocean. And Spirit of Hungary making good progress down the track. Now 12.1 knots, uh, 13 knots at uh, 194 degrees of uh, course, so heading in the right direction. Well, our strategy was a little bit um, based on two things. A, we saw that um, the trade winds were really far south and the anything was a bit uh, not really to the normal state of um, um, of the things like they should be, like um, where the the transition should be. And so we we said there might be a passage uh, a little bit more east and to Dolphins, which looked good on the weather chart. And because normally it's, it's a little bit crazy to um, get into Dolphins at, at 24, 25 west. See, 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 see the special circumstances, we, we think it, it, it might be an option, and because you have such a better angle when you're getting out of the doldrums afterwards, because you, uh, we have like 12 miles of mirrors on the, on the other boat, so we can sail a little bit, a, a little bit deeper and, and a little bit faster, and also if the, this position was also went fast a little bit by the fact that we had a weather problem, uh, three days ago, just before the, um, Cabrera Islands, and, and because we damaged our code pipe, which we couldn't use afterwards, we have to sail a little bit higher. So that defined our our final approach to Zoldoms as well. I would say 70% uh, tactical um, thinking and 30% uh, circumstances. If, if we if we would bring out all the Zoldoms now, I, I would be really confident that um, that would be a big success. 
now we have to wait and see when we break out. But in any way, um, because with, with the problem of our Helia just after the start, uh, we, we have to give the contact to the leading group. So and if you are slightly behind, uh, you, you have to do something. You have to be um, active. Uh, and that was exactly, exactly what we've done. And, and it was a calculated risk because um, if we just part of the other, we would have been one of the first. do this, probably the same. So it, 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 it was a bit of an uh, option for us. So interesting to hear the uh, position of uh, your greeters today and uh, discussing their strategy for Renault Capture. The strategy was partly precipitated by the problems they had earlier in the race, partly the uh, halyard problem that caused them to fall behind the leading pack and then losing their uh, Code 5. And uh, that meant that they couldn't sail quite the high angles they needed to to try and converge with the leaders. So that's part of the reason, but also he said that uh, the position of the Northeasterly trade winds well to the south. He seemed to think there was an opportunity to get across the uh, doldrums very far to the uh, east, so 24 degrees east compared with 28, uh, 29, where Hugo Boss, uh, Neutrogena, and Chemney Pujala were crossing. But uh, Jorg sounded hopeful, I think, confident, possibly, depending on how quickly they can get out of the uh, doldrums. He reckoned they'd had one uh, kind of false dawn. And uh, but he did say that the uh, he'd seen some clouds in the horizon suggesting the uh, trade winds were going to fill in again for them from the southeast and that. But uh, in saying that, they're still uh, at uh, three degrees seven minutes north, and that's still 180 miles from the uh, equator. So they really are, in terms of north south, a big uh, big distance behind then. Spit of Hungary at the back of the fleet, heading in the right direction, 196 degrees of course. And they had that problem that we discovered this morning, where they had a fishing net round the keel. Don't know how long that's gone on for. And the other thing of note is really the compression between We Are Water and One Planet, One Ocean. Will One Planet, One Ocean manage to hold off We Are Water until the equator? Let's wait and see. The perfect thing to have in a better one, but with the doldrums, you never know, right? I think we had a plan before the doldrums, we stick to the plan. And the good thing is, come up 50 miles to windward uh, to them, then to the doldrums. The moment uh, uh, we're not sure we are uh, uh, we still go inside. The bridge is puffy and conditions are good. And yeah, we are having the moment a good time. Uh, at the moment, looks like we have to go around. Not around, but uh, at the moment, it looks like that we will be going around, around the high. But it's uh, still early stages. At the moment, we want to go south. The main goal. The boats behind are not very far. It's 100 feet and 200 miles. And if he hasn't got it really good, uh, maybe he will pass the boats. I think it was a very risky option. It was a very risky option. But I would like to to the news that no one is still, if the football is winning, is always a good. That's about it. So I think even the skippers uh, surprised how close it is at the front of the uh, Barcelona World Race as they crossed the equator this morning. Hugo Boss crossed one hour and ten minutes ahead of uh, Neutrogena and two hours and thirty minutes ahead of Chemini Pujala. And then Gaia Centris Auditivos going across this morning, only eight hours and thirty minutes behind Hugo Boss. So speeds have uh, risen slightly this morning, indicating we are well and truly out of the uh, doldrums. Hugo Boss, uh, Pepe Ribas and Alex Thompson looked on good form when we spoke with them this morning. Uh, a little bit of time to uh, catch up with their sleep and, uh, and uh, perhaps some rest and running repairs. That seems to have been the order of the day for the uh, top boats in the quieter, uh, quieter weather. Uh, Neutrogena and uh, Chemini Pujala close together. Hugo Boss, uh, Alex and Pepe saying they're quite happy with their position. They had a, a strategy, they had a plan uh, for the equator and for the doldrums and they've stuck to that plan. That's given them about uh, 50 miles of leverage in terms of their windward position as they uh, head across. They're saying they really haven't looked too closely at the uh, South Atlantic. Uh, Pepe in particular indicated that they're 
consider that they're getting south is the most important thing for them just now uh, and then look at the picture but certainly the uh, South Atlantic high pressure system very uh, south and very west and um, centered 26 south 26 west and uh, so it's going to be a long way round. Renault Capture then uh, we spoke with uh, Jorg this morning and he uh, said he's reasonably confident they might be able to get out of their position but it's really dependent on the next few hours. We will see exactly the situation for the next 24 hours. So that's the situation now. The boats are just on the limit of the equator. And for the next 24 hours, they will have very, very light east southeasterly winds between 10, 15 knots of wind. And they are, for the leaders group, probably going to sail that way, a bit more in the southwest. For the group here in the middle between Renault which is the more east of the fleet, we don't know exactly know if he's going to go this side or this side. Oppo and we are, uh, One Planet, One Ocean and We Are Water are going to go south, probably just in the same way than the leaders group. And for Spirit of Hungary, right now he's north of the Cape Verde. He's sailing in 20, 25 knots of wind and he's going to cross uh, Cape Verde this night and tomorrow morning he will be just south of Cape Verde. que siendo una regata siempre hay siempre uno quiere llegar antes antes que el otro además si es del mismo país no pero es una rivalidad sana de incluso con los equipos de aquí de la no pues compartimos a veces información y formación en cuanto a diferentes ámbitos pero vaya que sí sí que hay una rivalidad que implica la regata No compito contra nadie, sino contra mí mismo, en hacer la, la regata lo mejor posible. Y la verdad es que tenemos un bueno, muy buen rollo entre todos los participantes. Sabemos que en estas regatas, si tienes un problema muy grave, probablemente quien te tenga que venir a, a socorrer o ayudar será otro participante, quien está más cerca de ti en algunos momentos. Y yo creo que llevarnos bien entre todos ¿no? es, es, es lo normal y, y, y es lo que es. Para mí yo creo que el resultado importante es hacer una buena regata en general. Yo no me quiero comparar con Guillermo, que es un excelente navegante. Sí que es mi referente quizás, o Pepe, que son muy buenos, pero yo no quiero ganarlos a ellos. Quiero hacer una regata generalmente buena y si los van mejor y si no peor. Pero aquí somos ocho y, no, y me, me miré con ocho barcos, no con cinco españoles. Sí, probablemente sí, sí que habrá una competición dentro de de lo que es la, la gente de aquí, que nos, que nos conocemos de hace tiempo. No, nos vamos a comparar seguro, pero bueno, sí, siempre teniendo en cuenta cuál es el objetivo de cada uno, cuál es su experiencia, que no es la misma, y también es divertido ¿no? pues poder, poder competir con, con gente que, que te conoce. En el mar, en principio, todos son rivales. Después, cuando se van quedando un poco para atrás, van siendo más amigos. Cuando te van sacando van ventaja, pues se van convirtiendo más enemigos pero en principio somos todos rivales y después depende de las distancias vamos calibrando la amistad y enemistad.